Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, joining our Naruto home screen setups is yet another Uchiha live wallpaper. This time, with a request score of over 1,800, I bring you an alternative take for the one and only Pain. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. A series where I show you how you can easily and quickly get these stunning minimalistic setups on your Android phones. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here he is, Pain alongside the power of his planetary devastation. With this setup, I've made sure to splash the colors of the Akatsuki across the whole thing, including the home screen icons, this standout battery widget at the bottom of the screen, as well as this unique date and time indicator. This setup will be running Nova Launcher using KWGT widgets and to complete the look I'll be using the Hex Installer for system wide customization. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars, then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. And to get this comfy icon layout, make sure to head to Nova's home screen settings and change the grid size to 5 across and 11 down. And to really clean up your home screen, I highly recommend you turn off icon labels, decrease your icon size, as well as disabling your home screen dock. Now that we have that out of the way, the icon pack that we're using in this setup to match the red and black of the Akatsuki is the Lux Red Pack. Just simply head to Nova's look and feel section and set the pack as your system icons. And before we go any further, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. Next up, these awesome KWGT widgets. But before we get into them, we need to make sure that we enable widget overlapping. You can find this at the bottom of Nova Launcher's home screen section. Just simply make sure to enable both of these options here. Now that we have that out of the way, the first widget of the setup, this crimson date and time indicator. Located at the top of the screen, courtesy of the minimal KWGT pack, is widget 49. So let's start by loading in the KWGT layout to our home screen and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. And to push our widget right up against the home screen margin, long press it and toggle the padding option. Now with this widget, we're first going to start by adjusting its size. For this, just simply head over to the layer tab and adjust the scale here. Now this may vary depending on your screen size, but as a rough guide, just use my setting of 55.6. Next up, let's apply our custom color. For this, instead of going into each individual item of the widget and changing the color that way, as a quick workaround, we're instead going to add in a new shape item. Head into it and then start maxing out its size so it fills up all of our canvas. After this, using the paint tab, simply apply the color code on screen. And finally, change its filter from normal to multiply, applying our custom color to all of the layers. Now for the second widget of the setup, this dynamic moving battery bar, which just like the first widget has been skinned to match our theme. The base of which from the duck UI pack is the widget battery moving V2. So, just like we did in the first widget, simply load in a new KWGT layer to your home screen and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. 
and once again, make sure to toggle the padding option. Additionally, because it is overlapping our app icons, we also want to select the option to send it to the back. Now, within KWGT, for this widget, let's start things off by once again adjusting the widget size. For this, we're simply going to head to the layer tab and using the tick boxes, we want to select scale and then click on the calculator button in the top right corner. Now, all that's left is to adjust the widget to fit our screen size. For me, 416.1 was perfect. Next, let's change up the color of our widget. For this, we're simply going to use these two color codes. So let's start with the E and F indicators located at both ends of our widget. Both of these are located within the first group of the widget. Just simply head into both text items and make sure to change their color code accordingly. Using the paint tab for first the top item to turn it black, followed by the second text item to turn it red. Now let's adjust the color for the moving indicator as well as the battery bar itself, both of which are located within that second group. Now here, to customize our moving indicator, let's head into our moving dot group. So starting with our shape item, we want to head into its paint tab and turn it to our custom black color. After which, let's head back and head into the item called base. Here, we're going to apply our red. Now, all that's left is to customize our battery bar. For this, we want to head back out of the moving dot group and head into the progress bar located at the bottom of our list. Here, within the color tab, we're going to apply both of our color codes, with the FG color being red and the BG being black. And wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across the whole system including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. And alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app One Shade. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And before you leave, make sure to grab all of these custom live wallpapers from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find them all there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.